Sources confirm five-year-old Nevaeh Buchanan's body was found by a fisherman. We went down on the banks and uh, immediately I saw some concrete on the ground uh, off to one side of where we were uh, going to set up the fish. I knew it was skin, not an animal. Slowly but surely, I was smelling things, and as it turns out, it was uh, the little girl. Did you not know that that uh, George Kennedy was a uh, convicted sex a offender? Con convicted sex offender. Yeah, I knew he was a convicted sex offender. When you found out that he was a convicted sex offender, why did you not just get get him out of your life at that point? Because I'm the type of person that everyone deserves a second chance. Do you think that George Kennedy or anyone associated with George Kennedy had any involvement in the disappearance of your daughter, Nevaeh? I'm pretty sure that probably someone associated with George or his girlfriend. Why would they, why would they want to hurt Nevaeh or take Nevaeh? George might have owed someone money. Is that something you know about? No, that's nothing but, I know about. There's just a whole bunch of scenarios run through my head. My mind is constantly running. I cannot eat. I cannot sleep. I toss and turn at night. Is the body not identifiable? No. No, we cannot identify. With us live right now, the mother of little Nevaeh, Jennifer Buchanan. Miss Buchanan, thank you for being with us. Hi, Nancy. Miss Buchanan, you said that authorities cannot identify the body. Why? Um, I'm assuming that she's too decomposed for anyone to look at her physically. Miss Buchanan. They wouldn't recommend it. What happened? Take us through the last moments that you were with Nevaeh. What happened? The last moment that I was with my daughter. The last um, few moments, yes. She come in the house. She changed her clothes. After she changed her clothes, she said that she was going back upstairs to her friend's house. Mm hmm And? Grabbed a popsicle on the way out the door, and she... You know, I didn't see her. The last time I seen her was at 6.30. At what time? 6.30. 6.30 p.m.? Yeah. Was it getting dark? No. No, not here. What time does it get dark? It doesn't get dark until approximately around 9, 9.30 here. Huh. When did you learn Nevea was missing? About about a half an hour after she went outside, uh, I had a, a really good friend of mine and her daughter stay the night with us. And my good friend's daughter came in and she said, Nevaeh's outside riding her scooter in the road. And that's whenever I immediately got up and I looked for my shoes. It took a couple minutes, a few minutes to look for my shoes. And then after that, I went outside and I noticed that she was missing. and called her name, looked through apartment buildings, went to a couple, quite a few of her friends' houses, thinking that she could have been, you know, in one of their homes. I looked for her at least 45 minutes. You stated that it was about 30 minutes later when the little girl came and said, Nevaeh's outside on her scooter in the road. 30 minutes have yeah. passed? Yeah, because she told me that she was going back upstairs to her friend's house, and that's assuming where she went. Now, you stated that you, quote, got up. Where were you? I was just sitting right there on the, uh, I was sitting right there on the couch, and um, I was, like, thinking about what I was going to make for dinner, because it was around dinner time, too. And she told me that she wasn't hungry at the moment, but I knew that she had to eat something. So she come in and she grabbed a popsicle on the way out the door. And that's normally about when I know she's getting hungry. There's a lot of times that she's told me no, but, you know, she lies. She lies. Did, did you just As say the little girl About lies? her hunger. 
She lied about her, she, normally she lies about her hunger. Miss Buchanan, I was just listening to what you said on the airwaves in the radio uh, interview, and you stated something about George Kennedy may have owed somebody some money? I'm not too sure. Now, how could that not possibly? Too sure how could that possibly be linked to your daughter's disappearance? The fact that this sex offender friend of yours owed somebody some money. How could that remotely be linked to your child's disappearance? I honestly don't know. Well, what you're the I one that said it, so you must have known something. All these scenarios are just running through my head constantly, and I think that possibly. He might have owed someone money, and as to get to him is through a close loved one or, you know, anything. All these thoughts are just running through my head. You also stated in an interview that in your mind, you hold him responsible. I don't put it past him. Okay, if you don't, don't put, put it past, past him, anyone. if you don't put it past him, what were you doing exposing your daughter to him? Well, Nancy, I know that I've made, I've made a lot of bad choices, yes. and who hasn't? And well, you know what, I you know can just stop right there. Somehow, you can just stop right there, Miss Buchanan, because most mothers that I know have never knowingly exposed their little girl, a five-year-old little girl, to a sex offender. So when you say, who hasn't, I for one haven't. I haven't. Well, I just believe that everyone deserves a second chance. You know, and that's and an interesting point, Mr. Cannon. You know, because Mr. Kennedy has a rap sheet dating back, we believe, prior to 2001. There's marijuana possession, there's home invasion, there's criminal sex conduct accosting children, there is the rape of a 15-year-old girl that he said was consensual. I mean, I'm counting I didn't my learn hand. about all those. I didn't learn about all of those until after I got to know him. Like, maybe a couple of months after I got to know him. Yes, I did check him out. I confronted him about it, and especially about the other girl, and he completely told me that she was 15, he was 26, and it was consensual. It, they're not really... There's no such thing as consensual sex with a 15-year-old in that jurisdiction. That is rape, all right? Now, you just told me that you found out about two months after getting to know him, but even knowing about this rap sheet, this very extensive rap sheet, you still had him around your daughter. Why? Because I knew that I was going to keep her close. And she was never left alone with him, to my knowledge. Okay, never to your left knowledge. alone with him. Really? Miss uh, Howerton, Holly Howerton, friend of Nevaeh's mother. Miss Howerton, are you there 24-7? No, I'm not. I have been with her ever since her child has been missing. Well, you know what? That's really not doing a whole lot of good, is it? If you're not there 24-7, then you don't know what happened. And my question is, forget about the sex offender just for a moment. Let's just suspend our disbelief for a moment. The five-year-old is out playing. It's nearly dark outside. I, I'm just having a no, problem. No, the sun's still out. It's not dark at all. Well, you said 6.30. And then 30 minutes later, that puts it at 7. Isn't that correct? You still haven't seen your mm -hmm. daughter. The daughter is gone. You said it gets dark around 8 or 9 o'clock. Yes, no. 9, 9.30. Uh, so now it doesn't get dark till almost 10 p.m. That's not true. Here it is. Miss Buchanan, it doesn't get dark at 10 o'clock at night in your jurisdiction.